Welcome back everybody on the French Cooking Academy channel. My name is Stefan and today it's the last episode of our toasted sandwich series. Mm, I love the toasted sandwich. There's never enough of them. But to finish the series, I really wanted to dedicate uh, this series of sandwich to the vegetarian people and the kids. So today we're going to do two versions, two vegetarian classic French toasted sandwich and one sweet version so that everybody has got something to eat. Let's get cooking. Our first toasted sandwich is called the Croque Monsieur Provençal, which comes from the name of the south of France from the Provence style. And this is because we're going to use these special provincial dry herbs. To make that sandwich, you're going to need two slices of uh, white bread, pre-toasted, some emmental cheese, fresh slices of tomato, the provincial herbs or Italian herbs, if you don't have any that are dried, and a little bit of olive oil, but maybe one or two tablespoons. So making that sandwich is very simple. We're not going to reinvent the wheel, but there is really an order you need to follow. You need to know what you want to achieve here. Okay, otherwise you're not going to get really that, that perfect result. So the first thing we're going to do is using one of these basking brush. Uh, someone told me that was called, I guess I didn't know actually, so it's a basking brush. And we're going to coat both toast with a generous amount of olive oil. Once you're done with the oil, you can start to lay one layer of cheese and as you've noticed here I've pre-toasted the uh, my sandwich is here because the one enemy we have in that sandwich is really moisture okay so if it gets wet it's terrible so I'm gonna put a nice amount of cheese here and yeah, that's gonna be my bottom part when that's done you're gonna add some tomato but not too much. And if you notice, I want to tell you, look, you don't have to have perfect tomatoes, but look at this. I've removed the seeds because the moisture and the juice of the tomato is your worst enemy in that sandwich. You really don't want to have a soggy sandwich because that would make a terrible experience when you're going to eat it. Okay, so once you're done here with the tomatoes, salt, very important, bit of pepper, and then the provincial herbs. Like I said, we're not reventing the wheel, but we're just making something that's gonna to try to taste really good. When you finish here, you're gonna layer again with plenty of cheese. This is the key here, plenty of cheese, little bit of tomato. That's what I'm going for. And when that's done, you're gonna close your sandwich. Okay, press it a little bit. And as a final touch, you're gonna use that basking brush again and finish off with olive oil. Our croque monsieur provençal is now ready and I'm gonna cook it in the oven at 185 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature with a fan oven. If you don't have a fan force oven, use maybe 200 degrees Celsius, which is approximately about 396 Fahrenheit. The cooking time for that sandwich can vary. Uh, we want to have that nice top that is toasted and the cheese has to be really, really melted. It can take 10 minutes, 12 minutes, it's up to you to decide. My advice is, after 10 minutes, make sure the, the cheese is melted and if this is not brown enough, you put the broiler or the top element on for just a few minutes to give it a nice color. All right, the croque monsieur are cooked and now let's look at the result. Contestant number one, this is the provincial croque monsieur with the cheese, tomato, provincial herbs and olive oil. As you can see, I've overdone my broiler at the last bit, but you can scrape that up, sorry. Um, but what can we say? We've got the crunch, the cheese, nice and melted. You got this little crust that's typical of the Emmentaler and here as well, it comes out. Very nice. And now we're just going to try to cut that thing open. Okay. And look at the inside. Ooh, let's look at one of the pieces. Uh, so what we can see here, you see, the mix of tomato, cheese and everything is just nice. It's not too moist. We keep the crunchiness. So if you eat this, it's going to be really a nice blend of cheese and tomato with the herbs. Most important guys, be careful with the tomato. They are well known to have burned many mouths, so don't bite into that thing straight away. You're going to burn yourself very badly. Not a bad sandwich. Let's look at the next contestant. 
The next toasted sandwich we're gonna make is the famous French croque monsieur chèvre miel aka the toasted sandwich with goat cheese and honey. Today I'm gonna make the version with French goat cheese, double cream, honey and thyme. It's a delicious recipe. In order to make that sandwich we're gonna need two slices of pre-toasted white bread, a good slice of French goat cheese, some honey, a little bit of dry thyme and some double cream or crème fraîche. Making that sandwich is fairly easy. You're going to start off with the cream and you're going to spread some cream on either side of your toast. When you're done with your cream, you're going to add some goat cheese. Not too much. Then a little bit of black pepper. And finally, some honey. Finish off with a little bit of dry thyme. Don't overdo it, we're going for very simple uh, flavors here. Finally, you take the other side of your sandwich and you close it and press it. If you want to give some nice color on the top, you can add some olive oil on the top of your sandwich. And you're done, we're gonna cook that sandwich the same way as the other except that we're going to maybe leave it to cook a bit less because we don't want to have it too dry we want to keep the moisture in to have it nice and juicy our next contestant is the goat cheese and honey now this one because of the goat cheese being quite delicate you usually serve this uh, with a side of a you know a salad with a french dressing like a lettuce but we usually kind of cut off all the uh, bits on the side once you cut off everything, this is what you get. This is more the core of the sandwich. And as you can see, the goat cheese is nice and, and soft. So let's cut that. In. And this is what you get inside. Huh? Just a layer of goat cheese with a nice piece of bread. It's nice and moist on here, you know, less dry than the other one. And really, as you can see here, the thyme on the other side, that goes really, really well with a green salad and has been a big craze in France, definitely a must try. And now for our last sandwich for the dessert and for the little ones, the famous sweet croque monsieur, the one and only banana and chocolate. Today I'm going to make the version with sugar cane, sugar, bananas and hazelnut chocolate. Making that sandwich is fairly easy. You start with non-toasted bread. This is one of the only sandwich you're gonna do this because we want the moisture uh, with the butter and sugar to create some kind of caramel. So the basic bread has to be nice and moist, not dry, and you coat it with a good layer of melted butter. Now that for that sandwich, I've covered really even all the edges with butter as much as I could. Next, you're gonna put some sugar cane uh, it's like some raw sugar on either side of the toast. If you want, you use like, I mean, this is like wet sand. <laughs> I love that sugar. This is fresh sugar cane. Look at that. Ooh, look at this. You can spread everything. I'm getting excited when it's like baking like stuff. After that, you're going to take your bananas and put them in. I'm using frozen bananas that I had in the freezer, so they're a bit looking funny, but it doesn't matter. Just put bananas and bananas on either side of the toast. So as you can see here, it looks really untidy, but this is on purpose because freezing the bananas kind of half cook them and that's gonna help me to accelerate the process when I put this in the oven. Lastly, you're gonna put some chocolate in there. So I'm just gonna be not over the top. I'm just gonna put two pieces. You can put more if you like. When that's done, and I think it's just a matter of covering either side, press it really, press it down and we can cook it in the oven. That works best by the way guys, cooked in a, a sandwich press, but I don't have one. So if you want to make this for your kids, just use a sandwich press, it's like, you know, it's way better. So I'm just cutting with a bit of, of butter on top to make sure it's nice and crusty and I'm gonna put this in the oven. And finally, the dessert has arrived, our croque monsieur with banana and a hazelnut chocolate. As you can see, I didn't toast it too much. The chocolate started to come out and it's just like a big chocolate bread with banana. So 
Hopefully it has kind of caramelized inside. I left it to cook for almost like 15 to 20 minutes uh, to make sure it was really cooked. And ooh, ooh, look at that. It's chocolatey. Oh, goodness. Oh, look at that. This is, oh, this is indulgent. Let me check the, oh. Chocolate and banana just pouring out of this sandwich is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And on all sides, look at that, that lovely, no, oh, what's good. Anyway, look, that's it. This is my last sandwich from this series, um, the kid-friendly chocolate and banana sandwich. You can also do it with brioche bread. It will be really good and even better, but if you don't have brioche bread, you can just use that uh, white bread, it's not a problem. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed all these sandwiches. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with this picture of that nice uh, chocolate banana sandwich, and we will resume a new series, actually we'll start a new series uh, starting on Friday, and I'm gonna deal with the subscriber request this time with all this backlog of recipe that a lot of people have been asking. So, make sure you try all of these sandwiches at home. If you haven't watched the other video, I will put a playlist that should show up on your screen right now with all the other videos that I made on a toasted sandwich. And that completes the whole Croque Monsieur story. As always, if you want to comment, leave the comment in the comment section. Like the channel or subscribe, it's up to you. And if you can become a patron, even better. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.